Welcome back, Indie Game Fanatics, to another First Look video. In this one, I'm going to be checking out the new game from Team17, the publisher, and the developer is Covenant.dev, and that is Gord. Gord is a single-player adventure strategy. To survive, you must build. Or to prevail, you must conquer the darkness beyond the gates. In this dark fantasy world, you must complete quests while managing a populace whose personal stories and well-being decide the fate of your tribe. Yeah, this one's sounding pretty interesting. As you can tell, the music's kind of loud. Let's uh, work on fixing that. End user license agreement. Let's uh, turn that down just a little bit. Hey, at least it starts at 70%. Most games always start with the volume at 100%. That's nice. Turn down the master volume a little bit. There we go. Now I don't feel like I have to shout to be able to talk to you guys. Alright, uh, ch custom settings. Uh, we'll make sure everything's just on high. I don't need things on ultra. And, uh, let's jump into this one. Hi, Tokyo. You joining me again for this one? You joined me earlier today when I was recording the video that dropped yesterday. Get back to hang out while I play Gord. Alright. We got Casual, Standard, Brutal, and Permadeath. Definitely not doing Permadeath. Uh, standard, the gods favor you with abundance, but can't win your battles for you. Start with a fair number of resources, moderate heal rate, and faith gain. Your enemies are at a basic threat level. Find out what that means. Over the years, okay, you shouldn't put all your Calanthia weight on my shoulder. Under my rule. All four paws on my shoulder right now. My campaign to unite the South is almost over. As we speak. My son is directing our army against the remaining forces of the Southern Resistance. Once we're done there, we shall take the North. It's filled with all sorts of vile creatures, but also rich in the gold that I need. Only a few barbaric tribes are desperate enough to inhabit these lands. As my steward, you will have one of them at your disposal. The Tribe of the Dawn. Okay. Secure the Golden Root before our army arrives. My emissary, Edwin, will watch your progress. Fail me, and you will face a fate much worse than any of the savages you've ever fought before. Sounds like we were, uh... Working for an asshole. Just like real life. The Tribe of the, the Dawn, Dawn was always a humble community of I don't even have to read it. Their elder, Bogdan, is neither a warrior nor a strategist. When the Calanthians came with their threats and promises, they had no choice but to obey. They agreed to guide them through the Lysatian forests, hoping for peace. And survival. Am I part of the Calanthians? I'm guessing. Here we are, Steward. No wonder our king chose you for this mission. You're more than worthy of this disgusting land. Thank you, you emissary. Sure, we're in the right place. Where is that meek old coward who calls himself a leader? Welcome, oh. my lord. I am Bogdan, elder of the tribe of the Dawn. I will guide you through the Lasatian woods. But, if I may, where are your warriors? The king's forces will come when the time is right. Until then, we are your new masters. As pledged, my lord. My tribe will follow the orders 
of the King's Steward. They are your people now. I trust you'll take good care of them. Thank you. We will, if they do their work. Do they find a place to set up camp? Yes, sir. Our scouts have found a good spot for our first gourd. A nearby pond should provide enough reeds and food to start a small settlement. Upper right control, so you can access the in-game settings. Top pink flow, following hotkeys, spacebar, pause play, G for normal or speed. Okay. Objectives, move the camera up and down, left and right. Hidden camera in and out. Date in and out. My right. lord, please order our subjects to move. We should follow our scouts' footsteps. We are not safe here. Okay. Subjects. Here you can see all of your subjects with detailed information displayed on their portraits, such as their profession, icon, health bar, sanity bar, currently hidden. Current modifiers. So their sanity bar is missing. See what their professions are with these icons. We got, I assume, an artisan. Maybe a hunter, a blacksmith, um, farmer, and a scout. Objective, selection and order. Select the subjects, which selection between subjects. Subjects, yep. Between subjects, so we can do, okay. Select all subjects, reach the marked location. Marked location is over. I have to right click to make them go that way? Yeah, okay, right click for moving. Hook you out. How are you doing, hun? Interesting uh, world map. Wretched wolves! Those are the bodies of our scouts. There isn't much for us to bury, but it seems like one got away. With Dabo's help, he'll find his way back to us. Hey, so the scouts are all dead. That's not a great sign. Alright, so mini-map gives you a top-down view of the surrounding terrain with all sorts of interactive objects marked appropriately. Using the filters, you can hide show every category of the objects available on the map. Senses view provides you with additional tactical information about your surroundings, including highlighting enemies and interactive objects, displaying sanity and faith gain. What are you doing, hun? And displaying a subject... Selected subjects range of sight and range of hearing. A lot of important information is displayed in the panels on the left menu. Notifications about important events, obligatory main quests, optional side quests, information panels. Ooh, strengths loves winter. Gwyneth, where are you from? Who loves winter? Weaknesses boiling blood. I mean... My blood was boiling too, so Gwyneth's the scout. Yep, okay. Cool. Reach the pond is what they want us to do, which is up here because the pond's like right. Yeah. What we got going on here? Uh, status unknown, wagon abandoned, haste, broken carts, me at hold treasures, left. By those who look like that's all mm -hmm. we've got there oh. and it looks like we've got food here interest in required animals for food uh, I see we've got some herbs build up there Richard's hut 
Okay. Let's go, my men. Lady. Scout's clearly faster. Oh boy. Enemies can have multiple attacks, special abilities, and buffs. Some may attack the closest subject, while others focus on the weakest. Strategy, subject, professions, items, and strengths to prevail in battle. Where is the wolf that's a threat? Yes. Hear it growling away. I don't see it. There they are. Oh. Oh, the scout. And you go up the blacksmith. <laughs> Harrison took a little bit of damage, but uh, other than that, we're doing okay. Killed the wolves. We've reached the pond our scouts told us about. It is indeed a fine location for a gourd. I don't know what that means yet. Sure. We have access to water, reeds, and other resources here. But first, let's build a palisade. These wooden walls will be the main defense of our new settlement. Upper panel shows the amount of your resources, wood, reed, food, clay, iron, and gold. Also shows the game's three main parameters: board's growth, board's sanity, and board's fate, which will be explained later in the campaign. Wood and reed is used to build structures to their initial level. Each subject's basic upkeep is food. It prevents them from starving, which heavily influences their sanity, which will be introduced later in the campaign. Gold is required by the military professions, which will be introduced later in the campaign. Clay and iron are used for upgrading structures, which will be introduced later. Action menu. The action menu gives you access to three important menus. Instruction menu, population menu, and the incantation menu. Through the construction menu, you can build new structures grouped by category as well as preview the growth tree. Population menu provides you with a list of all your subjects with whom you can easily group to your liking. The new birth progress bar shows how long you must wait for a new child to be born in your community. New birth process progresses when there are more population capacity than people living in the settlement. Incantation menu is used for casting spells will be introduced later in the campaign. So, I like the amount of detail that this game gives. The UI is looking very nice, um, and I'm very much intrigued by it all. My only concern is that don't introduce all these things that won't actually be important until later in the campaign. Like, half the things they've shown me here in the top bar and the bottom one are all things that they've stated will be introduced later in the campaign. So don't even bring them up. Just keep them hidden until you reach the point where the game's campaign is allowing you to use them and then teach us about them. Because half the things you're teaching about at the immediate beginning, people are gonna forget over time if they're not actively using it from the moment they're taught about that system. Uh, so it's just a waste. <laughs> Very waste, uh, waste of uh, introduction. Building process. Pick the available structure from the construction menu, place it on the available area. 
and order your subjects to build it. Simple enough. So what we need to do is build a palisade. And they want us to build it up here. Something like this. Now can we rotate these? Or is it I don't like that. I wanna have the gate down there. Okay. Okay. So Dragon node, rotate palisade, Q and E. Okay. Ah, I see. I see. What I want to do is have it maybe like gate facing this northeastern direction. Because you've got the water right here. You want the gate facing the water, essentially. That'd be close to it, though, for access. And also, we got a bunch of animals and forageables down that way. So I'll point it so that we can gather those easily. And build. There we go. Sparrow nest. Sparrow nest. Play it. Here's the name of your gourd and let us suggest one. Let's suggest one. Sparrow nest. Now, how do I suggest they build it? Hmm? I just click on. Aha! I'll just send all of them to build. Mm -hmm. Cool. If I get building. Beast killed our brothers, yes. Yes, they did. The that was impressive. <laughs> it just worked right here, but somehow it built all the palisade. Good. The palisade will keep us safe. Now, we need to think of how to make use of the resources we have. It looks like my recording might be lagging, guys, so I'm gonna... Hold on, old fool! settings here in a minute. This is just a minor stop on our way to the cartographer. He's waiting for us with instructions on how to reach the gold. I don't want to grow roots in this dump. My, my lord, I promise we will move on as soon as we have fortified our current position. For now, I suggest building a lumber mill, a forager's hut, and a thatchery. <sighs> a lumber mill does sound you. Okay. That seems to have immediately helped. It's like we were overloading my GPU there. My CPU is only at like 1.6% usage. If I can get my up my CPU upgrade this year, I'll use that for the encoding in the future. But alright. So we need to build a lumber mill. That but somewhat close to the front. I could put it right near the gate, like here. The free slots left in the lumber mill. Oh, you can only have four people building the lumber mill. Eat farmer. <laughs> Professions determine what adults can and can't do. So switch the subject's profession or them into a relevant structure with an available work slot. If they are a gatherer, they will automatically begin gathering if the desired resource is available on the visited part of the map. Gather and deposit some wood. Um. We got Iron Miner, 
hunter, clay worker, idolist scout, mm -hmm. farmer. I just have the scout go gather some wood, right? Wrong profession. What's got who's got the right profession for doing wood gathering? I don't know if I understood that. Lumber's, lumberjacks process felt tree wood. Subjects assigned. I don't have any subjects assigned right now. Um start working as a lumberjack, gather trees and Good. Not sure I no understand what these numbers mean. Or is it just like that's going to be the proficiency at it? No idea. I guess send our scout and our uh, other one to go uh, mm -hmm. collect some wood. What's up with this tree? To be a tank process. There's building. Okay. They're gonna cut down this tree. So, yeah, it looks like it is a proficiency thing. He just overall gets more wood. Can you put the wood in? Ooh, structure is available. Build a thatchery. Okay. A thatchery. Put right next to the lumber mill. Who'd be good at this? I uh, will have you gather some reeds. Nope. Going out to gather these reeds over here. he can gather 31 being two bars earlier hey look at that we figured it out I'll speed time up a little bit I suppose you people are used to starvation, but I am not. Steward, order these peasants to bring me some food. Sire, if I may, our people had some rations saved, but we will run out soon. We really need to start gathering food. Okay. Subjects need to eat. Hungry people lose sanity quickly. Food can be obtained by certain professions that trading or found by exploring the level. Why is the level uh name of this place? Front door is there.
growth. Building and upgrading more versatile structures raises your gourd's growth. Reaching a certain level of growth unlocks new types of structures and allows you to house more subjects. The gourd is flourishing, sire. Now we can have up to 10 subjects. All right, who would work here? Our group. Go gather food. Looks like he's gonna gather some mushrooms here. And they finally fully cut down this tree. Sire, thank you for providing us with food. Even though starvation won't make us bleed, it will weigh heavily upon our subjects' mental state. If we neglect their sanity, they will flee our rule. <sighs> Insubordinates like that should be punishable by death. Feeble minds. Hmm. In Calanthia, we would give our soldiers some wine to calm their nerves before the battle. My lord, we don't have wine here. But we do pride ourselves on making a great drinking mead. Mead, you say? Mm, that doesn't sound too bad. However, the basic comfort of staying within the range of a torchlight helps a lot in our sanity regeneration. Our scouts can provide light to everyone venturing outside of the palisade. But I would recommend to build both a meadery and scout's tower. Okay. Yes, yes. Sandy level three. Anxious. It's level 500. The Gord Sandy represents the average mental health of all subjects under your rule. It affects the pace at which new children are born. Most common Gord Sandy influencing factors. Food supply, subjects in torchlight. Healthy subjects, metering carvings. Burials, subjects in darkness, wounded subjects, subjects lost, and military not paid. Sanity Recovery. Recover Sandy and avoid experiencing mental afflictions. Try using yellow herbs for a metery. You can also stand in light or near carvings. Kill enemies or receive rewards in quests or trade off choices. Okay. I build a metery. That right near the entrance. Important building right there. <laughs> and where's our scout? We got burial grounds. Eatery. How, how do I build the scout tower then? <laughs> Need more wood. So Cordobor is the guy currently not working, so he can go work in the metery. Archite allow you to spot enemies in the eternal darkness. It also prevents your subjects from losing sanity. Make sure they don't stay in the dark for too long. Scout's Tower. Scout's Tower allows subjects to assume scout profession for such building. Now, this is one that we want to build outside of the court, right? No. Build it inside. Let's put it right in the middle of town, shall we? Citizens' morale has risen. All right. 
right, old man. I know that hygiene isn't your best suit, but don't your people ever wash? Stuart and I could use a bath. Uh, yes, of, of course, my lord. Our balia is constructed in a way not only to provide hot water, but also make the best use of our healing herbs to regenerate people's health. Huh? Heard that, Stuart? Order them to build it right away. <laughs> health regeneration. Regenerations are very slow over time. You need them to heal faster. You use a balia, a red herb, for hermit services or an incantation. I'll put that here in the back. I don't like how the guys will like drop their assigned tasks to run and help construct. a subject to the valley. Uh, who could use some health? Everybody's doing okay, but go, go work the valley. One of our people came across some familiar tracks. We should search this area of the forest. Maybe with Dabo's help, we'll find the scout who fled from the wolves. Campaign progress. You're about to finish the first scenario of the campaign mode. Once the last main objective marked by crown is given scenario is complete, it will automatically transition to another scenario. Log with all your subjects, but the settlement you've built is going to be left behind. Grab our uh, scout here, Gwyneth. Torch. He is heading over here. Oh, let's slow down time. We're running through the woods like this. Oh, hello. I grab everyone else at the same time. Mm -hmm. oh, why won't he leave his post? Corbin, son of Nikal. Leave your freaking post, dude. were hot on my tail. Where'd they go? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Guys got mold there. What's going on here? Items. Items can be found in many places, chest skeletons, or loose stones. One subject can carry up to three items. They can be extremely useful in combination with subject strength and experience level. 
Uh, wolf's paw is what we picked up. I don't know how that's going to be helpful, but... There we go. Where's our scout in a prison surrounded by wolves? Blabbering on about. I can't understand a word. He claims he was attacked by the wild folk, people of the forest. But they have never attacked us before, unless they were provoked. Clearly, they had a change of heart. He says they're walking towards the Votenga River, west of here. I fear that they may raid our gourd. Uh, our cartographer was supposed to be west of here as well. We cannot lose him! Let's move! No. Okay. My first scored. Finish the first game being scenario by saying a first score. Led the first steps of our people in these hostile forests. We built a prosper scored and rescued our man trapped by savages. Now we need to repel the incoming wild folk. I'll continue playing this game. Yes, let's proceed. So the campaign will. Now we're gonna head to the main menu for now, and uh, I will continue this at some point. Uh, this has been an interesting first look into Gord. Uh, yeah, it's like a pretty interesting game. Or to playing through the campaign on this one, and uh, yeah. Honestly, not too much more to say about this game. It is uh, almost like a survival city builder. I want to say similar to Against the Storm or uh, Age of Darkness, where you're you know you're trying to survive against the elements and the the enemies out in the woods, kind of thing. Um, got a very hardcore survival feel to it, with having to manage things such as sanity levels. Uh, that's an interesting aspect to have to worry about. But that's all I've got for this one, guys. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you all next time.